Hey babes, so as promised, I put together this meal prep video for you all. I'm about to prep my meals for the week, well, for the next two days. So I want to just give you guys some advice, some tips on what I do that can help you all. Now, um, if, you're, if you've downloaded the 21 Day Challenge Volume 5, you will see that there is a nutrition guide as well as a training guide. Now, I'm not going to be shipping this to anyone. I've gotten some emails from customer service saying that they're waiting for their package, you know, they've been waiting, they haven't got a package yet. There is no package. <laughs> There's no package, okay? The package is you go online and you download <laughs> your order, okay? So you have, again, again, the nutrition guide and a training guide. So you want to download that so you can get a, an idea and a visual up close to see what you need and what you need to do to prepare for this challenge. Now, it's not too late to sign up. The challenge does not expire. However, if you want to do the contest, you have to sign up between October 30th and November 1st, or now. The earlier the better, but you have until November 1st to do the contest. Again, November 1st will be the deadline to enter the contest. All right, so let's go over a few things. One second, I feel like I need to get some water. You ever just like take vitamins and feel like it's just stuck right here in your throat or like right here in your chest? That's me right now. Okay, here we go. So, let's talk about these utensils. Now, I have my food scale. This is like super important for me. I use this to measure my protein. Um, for the most part, this is my protein. To weigh your protein. <laughs> oh, to weigh my protein, I'm sorry. And I use these, uh, these uh, bins to pretty much store my food for the day. Um, these are throwaways, so you don't have to wash them or keep them, you just throw them right away once you're done. I also have these that I use, they're really cool, they're glass bins, and I store my food in here. So it's really convenient, like I'm a college student, so when I go to school, I don't want to have a dish, you know, just walking around with me in my book bag, so I'll just carry these so I can just throw them out in the trash. And they're, you know, they're not plastic, well the bins are, the lids are, but... You know, trying to stay away from plastic, so that's why I have the glass right here as well. I also use these measuring cups to measure, you know, my oil. I measure my egg whites and things like that, even milk. And I have these cool Ziploc baggies to pretty much store my protein in the freezer or my fruit, vegetables. It's really convenient to use these, and I can keep them for a while. I don't have to throw them out right away. I can save these. The good thing about everything that I just said is that it's in this nutrition guide. So if you go to page five in the following pages, you'll see what you need. The only thing that I didn't add is the George Foreman Grill. It's in your book, but I don't have it here because um, I don't use the George Foreman Grill as much. I did in the beginning years ago. I stopped using it because one, I don't like cleaning that George Foreman Grill. It's a nightmare, like getting all the grind out. It's just terrible. Two, I just prefer my food on the pan. It's just personal choice. I just like it better on that. I can easily clean it and it's just simple. And we also broil. We broil a lot of the stuff. Yeah, too. I broil a lot of the broil, food. Broil, broil. I'm sorry. I broil a lot of the food that I make. So broiling is really quick and easy and less cleaning up to do. So love it. But again, you know, when I first started, the grill was everything to me. It was really super quick. It was really easy. It was just amazing so if you want to get one get one it's really affordable and i do recommend it which is why it is in your nutrition guide the first thing that you want to do before going out and shopping is to make a list plan out your meals for the entire week because that way you're going to find yourself not spending as much money i mean me i spend about maybe 50 60 dollars a week no more than that so that's less than 10 bucks a day so it really pays off now in your nutrition guide you'll see that you know, you can write a journal, make a food journal, everything that you want to have. I also have sample menu plans, 21 of them. So if you don't feel like getting too creative or you have no idea what to have or you don't know how you should plan things, I have tons of variety here to pretty much show you what you can have, what you could do, and things like that. So feel free to try these sample plans out or just create your own. And this way you have more control on your spending when you go out and shop because now you have an idea of what you're going to be eating. You won't be buying, you know, things that you don't need. So you'll be more in control and it'll be easier for you. So number one, plan out your entire week. Number two, create a shopping list. And number three, go shopping. <laughs> Let's talk about what I'm using this week for my meal prep. So, um, by the way, a lot of these things on this table I've already had in my refrigerator. 
I did have to re-up on a few things, so I didn't spend that much. So keep in mind, you may find yourself spending the most the first time you're going to go shopping, but after a while, it'll get cheaper and cheaper because you're going to just be adding on to it weekly, adding on to the supply. So this is what I'm going to have for the week. I have my fruits right here, and I love my, my bananas because they're you know high in potassium and they're just super sweet. And I have my apples. I make you know clean apple pie with this. You'll see in your menu. You'll see that. I also have my green apples, super sweet as well. I've got my lemons, and I've got my strawberries. And these are my favorite fruits. I say it all the time. So if you know me, you know that I love me some strawberries. I also have green grapes. I don't like purple grapes. Green grapes it is. And I have my yeah. That's it. So that's it in terms of fruit. So I have that on lock for the week. This will even last me more than just this week, so that's really great. Now we're gonna talk about fats. You wanna have a healthy heart, so you need your healthy fats. You wanna eat your fats in its raw form. You wanna maximize on the benefits, so it's really important to eat them raw. Don't try not to cook them, keep them as it is. So for fats, I have almonds, and I love dry roasted unsalted almonds. They're so like crunchy. It gives me that satisfaction. I have my avocado. I used to hate avocados a year ago. I would just eat them because I felt like I had to, but I really love avocados now. It's so weird. I don't even know why, but they're really good to me. But yeah, I also have my chia seeds. Um, one thing about me is that I eat, I eat white rice. I don't like brown rice that much. I'll eat brown rice, but I prefer white rice because it just tastes better for me. Now, the thing about white rice is that it doesn't have as much fiber. So it doesn't keep you as full as brown rice would. So because of that, I often add chia seed to my meals to give me more fiber, that way I'm fuller. So it's a good thing to mix. I really, I really like that idea. So you may see this on my page a lot, black chia seeds. And you're like, what is that? This is because of the fiber. I also have my peanut butter. I love peanut butter and I use um, PB2, I use powdered peanut butter. I can make it my own, make it myself, so I use this a lot. I also wanted to add that um, now I use natural peanut butter, I try to stay away from artificial products as much as possible. So it's a personal choice. I use natural peanut butter. I used to use reduced fat, but now I'm at natural peanut butter. So I try to use that as well. Let's talk about dairy. Now you need dairy to strengthen your bones. It's good, you know, a good source of calcium. And I'm trying to slowly transition into being a vegan. The reason why is because there's so much more benefits to being being on a plant-based diet and i've learned so much about being a vegan and about plant-based plant-based diets in school i'm in school for health and sciences and i want to get my master's in exercise science so there's just so much that i've been learning lately that like my brain is just has just really just changed and shifted in just a matter of time like in just under a year so yeah i have the um i love cream cheese so i use vegan cream cheese it's an alternative to dairy obviously so it's lactose free um and i really like it it's really good and it's a good it's a good choice i also use fat free yogurt it has zero percent milk fat that's what it says and it is vanilla so i use this a lot to get in that calcium and i have vegan cheese now it's not just vegan cheese it's almond mozzarella um style shreds <laughs> that's what it says and I know it's like, who eats almond mozzarella cheese alternative? Like, who eats that? I know. Like, two years ago, you would never catch me eating some alternative to cheese. I'm a big cheese person. That's the thing. I think that's what made me want to change because I love cheese so much that I was eating so much cheese at one point that I just felt like I had to be a vegan. But anywho, this is really good. Almond uh, mozzarella. Like, I, you know what, let me eat one. Let me just, eat, let me just show y'all how good this is. Mmm, this is cheese. <laughs> this is so good. Now I'm kidding. You gotta try this. I got it from Trader Joe's. I'm not trying to promote Trader Joe's and all that, but it's good. Anywho, let's move on. Now, we're gonna go over my proteins. So I have beans. My favorite are black beans. I love black beans. Yes, these are Goya. But for the most part, I stick with organic protein. Even like my chicken. I even have uh, ground chicken. I'll use ground turkey too. Um, and I'll even have eggs. Again, I'm not a vegan. I am slowly, slowly transitioning. Okay, emphasis on the slowly. 
trying. And I have my salmon. I don't have it every day, um, but I have it, you know, maybe like three times a week. It's just not something I have every single day. So I do switch it up. I even have tuna fish as well. And again, everything is organic. Now, there's a big thing going on about the term organic. It's kind of going around loosely. Everything is not what it always appears to be. So yes, you may go somewhere and it says organic and it could possibly not be organic. You know, sometimes it's a sales tactic. I get it. But the thing is, I try to, you know, make the best decision for my health as I can. So even if it's, even if this is not organic, I'm trying to make the initiative to live longer, to have a healthier heart, healthy insides. So I'm going to go out of my way and spend a little bit more on those things. You know, protein is, to me, I just feel like you should take it seriously. So I go organic. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go over my toppings. I love flavor in my food. I don't know how people just cook and don't add any flavor to their food. That's just crazy to me. So I have things that I add. I add um, sauces and marinades. So I have mango, I have sweet and sour. I'll add it to my protein. I'll even add it to vegetables and rice to make it super sweet, taste really good. And I got so lucky to find this. I got this from ShopRite. So this is pineapple teriyaki. Two things that I love, it's so good. I don't even really go to shop right that much. I go there to get a few things, but this right here, I go to shop right for. So good. Pineapple teriyaki, the best. Now, the good thing about this is that you can use these things. However, you know, especially as a woman, you know that it's going to go straight down here. You're going to get bloated. You know, it's going to not be pleasant. So I only add about a tablespoon um, and mix it with some water to my meals. I also have salsa. People think that salsa is so unhealthy, and it's really not. I mean, you can make your own salsa with just tomatoes and onions and, you know, that. But I use this because sometimes I don't want to make my own salsa. And two tablespoons is about 10 calories, so that's great. You can add on top of your protein. You can add it to your salads. It's a good way to get in some extra flavor. Now, these are my salt-free seasonings. So besides my marinades, besides my little condiments, I have salt-free seasonings and like I have, I love them. I have like onion powder, I have garlic, I have lemon pepper, I have tomato basil garlic, garlic and herb. I have everything that you really need for flavor. Again, they're salt-free. There's no need to add additional salt. Like for instance, these marinades already have like sodium in them. So you don't need to keep adding a bunch of salt for flavor. So you want to pick and choose. I'm already getting my salt intake through other foods. So when I add on to my meals, I don't have to add on additional salt. So I have a variety of salt-free seasonings of all different flavors, and they're super, super delicious and nutritious. Now, I'm not going to tell you not to add salt. I'm not going to say, you know what, guys? Don't eat salt. Salt is bad for you. No. You want to have... A teaspoon of salt a day all right so it's on your nutrition guide so I'm saying it again now I sometimes use low salt if I'm not getting my salt through other items so I'll use low salt so I'll add it occasionally to my meals and I've had this for a long time probably like a year and a half and it's a lot in here but let's see if this expired or not okay so it expired. <laughs> so I gotta go throw this out and get another one. <laughs> That's cool. But again, you wanna have your salt a teaspoon a day. You need it for potassium. I use um, fat-free cooking spray to coat the pan, aluminum foil, whatever it is that I cook with, I use this. And this is olive oil. Now for my carbs, my carbs are actually the greens as well as the complex carbs, what we call carbs. So I have this really cool and really tasty oatmeal. If you love Starbucks oatmeal like me, you'll love this. I got this from ShopRite and it's really good. It's called um, Wholesome Pantry Organic Oatmeal, Instant Oatmeal. It's really good, really, really, really good. I also have again my white rice. I told you guys that I don't really like brown rice that much. White rice just tastes so much better for me and this is what I use. So it's really good as well. I have these really cool sweet potato ribbons. I got these from Trader Joe's. They're really cute. You can add it to your salads, your rice bowls. You can add it to your meals. 
super yum. I love sweet potatoes. I even have these cool sandwich things. They're Arnold's from ShopRite. And it's only 100 calories, just one of these. One of these bad boys, 100 calories, which is super cool, super great. And it gives me like this like satisfaction of eating actual like bun. So I can have a wrap, but I would have to only, I can only have one of these wraps um, because it has a lot of fat in it. It's still healthy, but this has less fat. So this is a better option. And I just feel like I feel more satisfied eating this than the flatbread, but you can switch it up. Again, you gotta have fun with what you do. Then I have my greens, I have my lettuce, I have my spinach, kale, asparagus, I have zucchini, Brussels sprouts, peppers. I got it all. So again, I have a large, I have a variety of foods. So I never get bored with what I eat. I have so many options. Some people could just have the same thing every day. I can't, it's totally up to you. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all. This is an updated video and I have changed a few things, but at the end of the day, I have fun with what I eat and I hope you guys do as well. Yes, this is the 21 day challenge and yes, you do have 21 days, but that's just the contest part of it. What about the rest of your lives? What about how you're gonna live and go about the rest of your everyday lives? So that's what this program is designed to teach you all. Good luck. So number one, Plan out your entire week. Number two, create a shopping list. And number three, go shopping. <laughs> so good luck guys.